Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new. Welcome to yet another spring decor shop with me. I have filmed two prior shop with me videos that I will have linked down below in case you missed those. But today we are going to go shopping at both Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel. I absolutely love the decor style of both of those stores and I feel like shopping those stores really gives you a good idea of what the current decor trends are and yeah I'm curious to see what they have in store for spring. So far in the stores I have shopped at, I'm seeing a lot of blues and wicker style decor. Um, that seems to be a trend, which I think is probably a trend pretty much any spring, at least for myself. I know I, lo I love incorporating baskets, um, like basket trays or even just baskets for blanket storage um, in my decor. Also blue. Blue is absolutely my favorite color and I love adding touches of it for both spring and summer. So anyways, let's go see what they have. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy watching these kind of shop with me videos and let's go shopping. For today's shop with me, I'm going to keep my talking segments very brief. I'll do a quick little summary before each store and then I'll just let the music play and let you guys enjoy seeing all of the beautiful settings, the displays. There is just so much inspiration in this video. You guys are in for a real treat. My first stop was Pottery Barn and I could have spent all day in the store. I was so in love with the pots and the organic style vases. They even had little touches of Easter. They had a beautiful spring table setting that I was definitely taking notes on. I loved everything about it. And I love how they mixed textures and patterns using pillows and throw blankets just so much inspiration to take in um, so after pottery barn i stopped at anthropology so you will see that next and then finally our house so lots more inspiration coming your way
Next stop is Anthropology, and as much as I wanted to shop their clothing, today it is all about the decor. They had so many eclectic pieces. I just had so much fun browsing the store. I loved their vases. They had these large vases, and you'll recognize this popular style, um, but they're just so unique. They also had a lot of dishware that is different from what you would typically see. Also the stemware and glassware was really pretty. They had a lot of candles to choose from in a variety of scents and colors. And I love also that their hand towels were very kind of fun, even their aprons, but just a fun assortment of colors that is so different from what, you know, how I typically decorate. Most of my decor is so neutral, so it was, Again, I just had fun browsing the store and just seeing all the variety of, you know, eclectic styles and colors. Finally, I stopped at Arjas and I was just so impressed with everything in the store. I loved all of it and I had so much footage to comb through for you guys because I filmed pretty much everything I saw in the store. That's how excited I was. So I'm going to just let this footage speak for itself and just let you guys take it all in. There is just so much inspiration here. I hope you enjoy.
Okay guys, I am back and I thought I would do a quick little closeout to this video. I had the best time shopping today. I actually met my mom here and we could have spent all day shopping and browsing. I, I feel so inspired. I have gained, I've got so much footage that I've gathered here as you, well, as you just saw. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to shop at Crate and Barrel. The location that was here has moved and that was a bummer, but thankfully they did have an Arhas here, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So I, I was so in love with Arhas. There was, I was overwhelmed because everything I saw, I was like, I love this, I love that. It was just so much to take in. I was like a sponge, just soaking it all up. But, um, oh, also Pottery Barn. Absolutely loved Pottery Barn. There was so much inspo there. That was another store that both my mom and I were like, we could have spent all day in there, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, hopefully you, you gained a lot of inspiration from it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you. I um, post a lot of home decor content, but also mix in lifestyle content as well. Soon I will be sharing our home updates. We are taking on a big project currently as I speak. We are completely changing all the flooring in our house. Um, I'm so excited about it, excited but stressed out at the same time because I think I said we're doing it ourselves, um, but we have more changes we're going to make along the way as well. We're going to be changing the moldings, adding like board and batten on the walls, pink color, you know, possibly light fixture changes down the road. Um, a lot of changes coming and I will be documenting some of that here on my YouTube channel as well. Um, but. I, I am showing behind the scenes over on Instagram, so if you're not following me over there, I would love it if you gave me a follow, if you feel so inclined. Um, actually, I would, I would really, really love to have more of my YouTube community over there because, um, to be honest, I'm not real active over on Instagram because I feel like when I post over there, I it kind of goes out to the abyss and just crickets, you know, I, I would feel, I don't think a lot of my YouTube family are over there. So I'd, I would love it if more of my YouTube family were over on Instagram. I would feel more like I was talking and posting to my family. And also it's a good way. If you want to chat with me, you can send me a direct message over there. Um, but yeah, if you feel so inclined, I'd really appreciate it. But again, hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you have a wonderful day. I appreciate you. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Take care.